What's going on, Saints fans? It's Mitchell Rance from Chat Sports. And coming up here on today's show, we're going to be looking at the Saints 2022 UDFA tracker. A UDFA, what does that mean? It stands for an undrafted free agent. So these are the players that did not get selected in the 2022 NFL draft. And if my calculations are correct, the Saints can go ahead and they can sign about 13 of these players. However, I have 11 so far. NFL teams can have up to 90 players on the roster. And if any of these other guys for New Orleans do end up getting signed, we will go ahead and we will break it all down for you. If you haven't already, seriously, y'all, hit that subscribe button. Whether it's me, whether it's Tom, Harrison, Chase, whoever comes on here and films a Saints video, we're trying to pump you guys out a lot of content. Here at the Chat Sports Studios, man, we've been here for probably like 45, hour, 45 hours over the last three days, and we come in today on our off day on Sunday. If you're a diehard Saints fan and you want videos the entire off season, our goal that we're trying to get to is 6,000 subscribers where you need about 600 and something more. I don't have the mental capacity to do that math right now. So hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. That way you never miss a video. Let's go ahead and let's go through every single UDFA signing so far by the New Orleans Saints. And the order that you're going to see is the order that they were signed. At 5'11", 213 pounds, running back out of Baylor, Abraham Smith, and, or Abram Smith, excuse me. I see him being a little bit more of a Bowling ball running back. 1,600 rushing yards last year, 12 touchdowns. I think that this is your what you're hoping that you're going to get out of Mark Ingram, essentially, right? I mean, you're hoping that he's healthy. You're hoping that he can fill in well for Alba Kamara. But you also don't know what exactly the future holds for Kamara. I get it. There's still a lot going on. But he still might end up facing a suspension. A player that I actually like to move a lot here for New Orleans is... They go out and they get Joel DeBlanco, linebacker from Cincinnati. 113 tackles last season for the Bearcats. Five and a half sacks, one forced fumble. Six foot two, 243 pounds. I had a draft, draftable grade on him, which you guys are probably going to hear me say a few times throughout this show, which simply means I thought that he was going to be drafted. And if you're wondering, all right, Mitch, like what style of player do certain teams go out and look for it? What I look for to UDFA is somebody who I believe is going to be a good locker room fit, going to come in and work his tail off because UDFAs are not guaranteed to make the team. Well, let's go to the next pick here, and it's a wide receiver with some athletic ability. Weber State's Rashid Shahid, and I believe that's how you pronounce it, Five foot 10, 181 pounds, and does offer a little bit of speed out of San Diego, California. So when you look at the Saints' biggest needs out there, I do still think being able to go out and find some extra wide receiver depth talent is important. And a lot of times these smaller school kids sometimes are better off not getting drafted because as a UDFA, you get to pick where you want to go. Yes, the Saints have talent if Michael Thomas is out there on the field, but one of the biggest weaknesses from the offensive side of the football is the wide receiver position. So for somebody like Shahid here, you're able to come in and at least compete to try to make that 53-man roster. So if you guys haven't yet, go down to the comments section right now and let me know, who was your favorite Saints draft pick from the picks from the 2022 NFL draft? My guy Trace, the team over here at Chat Sports, they broke some players down yesterday. But if you haven't seen all the picks made by the New Orleans Saints, they took Chris Olave at number 11. Trevor Penning, great offensive tackle from University of Northern Iowa. Alante Taylor, who's a corner slash safety from Tennessee. DeMarco Jackson, really good sideline to sideline ability there for him. And out of the players that you see on screen, I like Chris Olave a lot. But I also really am a big fan of Trevor Penning. The value definitely is there. And then also... Jordan Jackson, the defensive tackle out of Air Force. So, guys, go ahead. Let me know who's your favorite draft pick from the Saints from the draft. All right, let's go to the next name here. Phenomenal hair. It's Lucas Kroll, tight end out of Penn, or Pittsburgh. Six foot six, 253 pounds. He does offer some red zone ability, and I went back and I watched some tapes. When I look at some of the numbers here and what I look at from Kenny Pickett, Kenny Pickett was the only quarterback drafted in the first round. His second read most of the time in the red zone was Cruel, who had 38 grabs, 451 yards, six touchdowns last season with Pittsburgh. The next UDFA coming up here is going to be Texas Tech cornerback DeMarcus Fields. And 
I like his twitchiness is, I guess, the word I'm going to go ahead and use. I wish he'd be able to get his hands on the ball better and bring it in as an interception. But in terms of pass breakups, being a Big 12 defensive player can be difficult. Why? There's a lot of aired out schemes. There's a lot of ball, just people just balling out, we'll say, just throwing the football everywhere. So sometimes when you look at corners or whether it maybe even be a a linebacker, their numbers aren't as good, but at 5'11", 193 pounds, 24 years old, 48 tackles last season, I think it's a good pickup here for New Orleans. Nephi Sewell, linebacker out of Utah, is going to be the next player that we go ahead and we break down here as a UDFA signing for the New Orleans Saints. 23 years old, he's 5'11", 226 pounds. He did have 89 tackles, and he's just a little bit undersized. When I say a little bit, it's uh, quite undersized, I would say, for an NFL linebacker. And this is actually also Penny Soul's brother, the offensive tackle who came out of Oregon. He then goes ahead, was drafted number seven overall by the Detroit Lions last season. So he's got some ties, and unfortunately, he's not quite as big or as athletic as his brother. It's kind of crazy, right? Let's go to Smoke Monday. And yeah, this is the guy that's on the thumbnail. This is the guy that a lot of people love. And Partly because of the name theory. And the name theory here at Chat Sports is simple. You got an awesome name like Smoke Monday, you're probably going to be a good football player. 63 tackles, one interception, five pass breakups. I thought Smoke was good enough to get drafted. And it is actually one of my favorite picks or signings, if you will, that New Orleans had as a UDFA. Smoke is going to be able to come in. He's going to be physical. And the fact that Malcolm Jenkins just retired, there is a need for a box safety. Smoke Money is going to be able to come in and uh, blaze it up. If you guys haven't seen our Saints full draft grades, well, hey, they're on the channel. YouTube.com slash Saints today. If you are one of our loyal subscribers helping us trying to get to 6,000 subs, take that link that you see below. Send it to a friend, send it to a colleague, send it to a family member, tell them to subscribe. But one of the reasons why you guys should hit that sub button, turn on those notifications, I don't think I saw another Saints channel that got out draft grades before we did. So we keep you up to date, news, tire off season, and I think we like to have a good time as well. Next player coming up here for our Saints UDFA signings is Jack Corner, the safety out of Iowa. And I saw New Orleans really trying to go safety heavy, which is, not too surprising considering the fact that they were unable to draft one. And we're probably going to go ahead and talk about this a little bit more tomorrow because there's a report that came out from Adam Schefter that the Saints are going to try to do everything that they can to get the Honey Badger back home into New Orleans. So another reason. Subscribe, turn on those notifications. We'll be talking about that tomorrow. Six foot, 209 pounds, 88 tackles, two interceptions, three PBUs for the safety out of Iowa. The next name coming up here is John Parker Romo, and kicker out of Virginia Tech. I don't know if he's going to end up making the roster. However, there are some teams out there where sometimes the kickers end up being a halfway decent player and they can end up making the final roster. But John Parker Romo, kicker from Virginia Tech, was a UDFA signing here by the New Orleans Saints. If you guys are having a good time, it's Sunday. I don't know what you all are doing today. We decided to come in on our off days. So seriously, hit that like button. Tell me what you guys are doing today. I'm, I'm getting ready to go to brunch. As soon as I get this video done, I'm going to go crush some bacon and eggs because, damn it, that sounds really flipping good right now. So if you haven't, please go ahead, like the video. The next player... That we're going to be bringing on here, and it's just, we'll just verbalize him, it's fine. It's Eric Wilson, the offensive lineman from Penn State. This is another player who I actually thought was going to be good enough to potentially be drafted. He is the 10th name that we have listed so far. Offensive guard out of Penn State. And then the final name, you don't like to use them, but sometimes they're important. It's Daniel Whelan, the punter from UC Davis. Those are all the UDFA signings that the New Orleans Saints have at this current moment and if we get any more which I'm actually seeing right now they just went ahead and they signed Bryce Notre also so keep that in mind he played for the Salukis last season so definitely another name to go ahead there and keep in mind for New Orleans so out of all those names who is your favorite UDFA signing for the New Orleans Saints at this current moment, they also are going to bring in Joey Noble, who's an edge rusher out of New Mexico, is who's going to be attending Saints rookie minicamp. So another name that literally just came across the wire as I am filming this video. So seriously, let me know. Who's your favorite UDFA signing for the Saints?